Hi, my name is Russell Allen. I'm the Managing Director of O'Reilly Group Consulting. And this is the second part of a six-part series looking at starch addition on the paper machine and how it affects performance and perhaps, more importantly, what to watch out for. Now, have you ever wondered why sometimes when you add starch, the same amount of starch on a paper machine, sometimes you get a good result with good performance increases and other times, well, they're pretty ordinary. Sometimes they, they could be nothing at all. What's happening? Well, one thing that could be happening is that you haven't recognised that the percentage of starch increase you get from adding a certain amount of starch is dependent on the basic quality of the paper that's going into, say, a size press or that you're adding wet end starch to. Here's a plot that shows the relationship between bond strength or uh, paper quality, if you like, and the starch addition that you're making and what you might expect in terms of percentage increase in paper properties. And you can see that's really non-linear. When the paper quality goes into a size press or starch is added and it's already high, you get very little performance increase, very little property increase from that starch you've added. If the paper is already low in quality, and, and I'm talking now about, say, recycled paper, then you get very high percentage increases. If you're adding a lot of, for instance, broke or, or recycled or re-slush broke back into your paper machine, that will affect how well your starch works, how much property you get given on the paper machine. So it's something to keep in mind. If you're adding starch to your paper and expecting to see increase, maybe one of the things you better do is manage how much broke comes back into that paper machine. Anyway, thanks for listening. We'll see you next time for the third video in this series.